Let's get started. After installing the pro version of the plugin, the first thing you'll want to do is click the Edit Coming Soon page button. So we're going to click it. From there, you'll be able to choose from over 50 plus themes in a variety of categories. In this demo, we're just going to start from scratch. Let's scroll back up to the top and select the blank template. On the left hand side, you'll find all your settings for the Coming Soon page. And on the right hand side is the real time preview. You can also adjust the settings sidebar just by dragging it. So let's go through each of the settings to see what they do. The content setting allows you to change the headline, the description, and change the order and layout of the Coming Soon page. You can also add in SEO information and a fave icon. The background settings allow you to add a static background image, a background slideshow, or a background video. In addition to all those, you can choose from over 500,000 stock background images provided by Unsplash, free to use. In this video, we're going to use a background slideshow. So let's go ahead and select that, and then we're going to choose our images. And I have several images already uploaded. Let's go ahead and insert those. And as you can see here, those have been uploaded and inserted, and now we have a background slideshow on the Coming Soon page. We can also tweak the background using these settings here. So let's make our background uh, a little dim so it's not so bright. So we dimmed it up. Next up is the container settings. From here, we can do things like adding color to the container, changing the border radius, the position, the width, and even adding a eye-catching intro animation to catch your visitor's attention. The color section allows you to choose the overall color of your site. So let's go ahead and change ours to green. This will change the button, countdown, and progress bars. The typography section allows you to choose from over 750 Google fonts and also do things like change color, weight, and size. Let's go ahead and change our headline font. And it's as easy as just selecting a font and saving. Okay, so that's a brief overview of some of the design controls. Let's go in and tighten up this design. Let's go in and add a logo which I forgot to do earlier. And then from here, let's go ahead and remove the transparency. So we're going to remove that. And let's change the font colors to be white. So we're just going to select those to be white. There we go. And let's change the button color to maybe an off-white or just white. There we go. Since we have a background slideshow, that'll look good on any background. And let's go ahead and darken up that background just a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, we've tweaked our design with a great looking page in just a few minutes. Next up are the email form settings, which might be one of the most important settings on the page. You can choose from a variety of third party providers such as MailChimp, Aweber, Campaign Monitor, and others. Or if you don't see any here, you can choose Zapier, which lets you integrate with over 500 different providers. From there, you can add a optional autoresponder, a thank you message, or even a viral referral tracking campaign. Next up is the contact form setting. Easily add a contact form with just a click of a button. Fill in who it goes to and a confirmation message, and you now have a contact form on your coming soon page. Here's a demo. Add social profiles quickly and easily. Just click the Add Profile link, select the social service, enter the URL, and that's it. You can also even choose the color and the size. Adding social sharing buttons is just as easy. Just select the ones you want. We'll add Twitter and Facebook. And by default, they show on the Thank You page. Let's go ahead and select both pages. So now we have a great looking Coming Soon page. Let's go ahead and top it off with a countdown. So we're just going to enable the countdown, select our time zone, and enter an end date here. So we'll do for Saturday. And it shows a countdown. You can also enable an auto launch feature. So there you have it. A great looking coming soon page to start generating a buzz for your new website. Let's uh, quickly go ahead and review these other settings here. So you can also add a progress bar or a foot of credit setting, and that's just so you can add a credit in the bottom right here that says created by your design firm if you're doing client work. And you can customize text here, so if you don't like some of the verbiage, like the notify me button, you can change that. And some of our licenses include a uh, multiple languages 
feature. You can also add in custom CSS and advanced scripts, which allows you to add header, footer, scripts, import, export, and even custom HTML. So that's it. It's just super easy to create a coming soon page for your new website with Coming Soon Page Pro. And one more thing before I go, I want to quickly show you some of the access controls. So by default, the coming soon maintenance page shows on the entire site. In the pro version, you can select only the home page or include or exclude certain URLs just by clicking here and entering the URLs. You can also give clients or anyone else needing to bypass the coming soon page a bypass URL or even add a password form on the coming soon page or exclude by IP or role. And those are just some of the many features that are included with the pro version. Get Coming Soon Pro today.